Well, hello everybody. Just wanted to take a second to make a little video and give you guys the update on our kind of challenge winners for the month of July. If you missed the initial um, kind of proposal, one of our goal for the month of July was to increase the number of vegetables that we eat. And I thought a great way to do that would be to encourage people to eat salads. Um, it's a strategy that I try to do during the summer. Uh, we all kind of have different goals in mind when we're training. Some of us are interested in performing better. Some of us are interested in feeling better. And some of us are interested in looking better. And the cool thing is, is you can do all three at the same time with CrossFit. Um, so that's one thing I try to do during the summer is take one major carbohydrate meal a day and try to replace it with a salad. And granted, the salads, um, at least the salads that I was eating have pretty substantial caloric intake. Um, so it's not like you're just eating like a bird for an entire month, but the idea is to consume vi more vitamins and minerals through whole foods. So that was kind of the idea behind the salad challenge. I think out of the seven or eight people that texted me um, pictures of the salads that they had eaten, I think four of them uh, had eaten close to 30 salads in the month of July. And we actually had some people who doubled up on salads during the month of July. Jason um, is our winner for the salad challenge. So I will have a fresh time gift card for you um, tomorrow. And uh, then hopefully you can kind of keep the streak alive. If you didn't get a chance to be a part of our salad challenge, I would definitely encourage you to do it. This doesn't necessarily have to be something that you do as part of a challenge, quote unquote. Um, but eating more whole foods and getting those good veggies are gonna increase that fiber intake, which is gonna slow down your digestion time. So even if you're eating carbohydrates, rice, potatoes, that kind of stuff, if you incorporate a salad, it'll slow down that digestion time, which isn't as essential, um, you know, if, if it's in and around your training time, because you want those carbohydrates to kind of get into your system relatively quickly, pre or post workout. Um, but I know late at night, sometimes I get some cravings and that's not always the best time to eat a bunch of like rice cakes or something. So for those of you that participated in the salad challenge, way to go. I'm super proud of you guys. Hopefully you can take some of the lessons that you learned this month and apply them to your entire year. And uh, you know, maybe you're not eating a salad every day, but maybe you're eating a salad every other day. Uh, and, and that's always a good thing. For our bracket winner, congratulations, Tony. Um, Elise, uh, was kind of in charge of tallying the points, which was super helpful because I'm definitely not a math person. But uh, we had actually two athletes who submitted brackets that had both Justin Medeiros and Tia Claire Toomey as the winners. And I was pretty impressed with that. Um, but if we looked at second place, third place, fourth place, and fifth place, um, some of those people that want, picked Justin to win or Tia to win, um, their second through fifth, uh, you know, there were some major hiccups with that. Obviously, it was out of our control. People like Carrie Pierce, Bethany Shadburn, who couldn't actually compete, kind of ruined a lot of the brackets for most people. But Tony, uh, over the long haul, man, you had the closest picks in terms of one through five overall. Uh, so we'll definitely be giving you a noble gift card. Thank you guys for participating. It's stuff like this that just makes our community. This is the stuff that... Uh, you know, it just won't happen organically. This is one of the reasons why people like CrossFit is because this element of community and you're motivating each other, inspiring each other. And you know, when there's a little bit of something on the line, it makes watching the CrossFit games a little bit more interesting. So hopefully you guys got to enjoy that this year. Definitely something that we want to continue doing throughout the year. I know uh, when the winter rolls around, we'll have a new like bike row or ski challenge and uh, we'll throw that out to you guys and give you a chance to compete. If this is something that you'd like to see more of, please pass that feedback along to me. I'd love to hear it. If you felt like you know doing something like a salad challenge or doing something like a, like a games bracket is, is fun, we, we definitely want to continue that because uh, that's the kind of stuff that brings our whole community up. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you got something from it, and uh, we'll see you guys soon.